welcome back to my channel and another swatch and review. Today I have a full swatch and review of the Cleona Cosmetics Slick Adelic collection, which is kind of an eight plus one piece collection. It'll make more sense as you watch the review. Basically only eight shades are available. Eight shades are what was released on the Cleona Cosmetics website. But during December's polish pickup, they released a ninth kind of complimentary shade. And I don't know if it's officially part of the collection or just using the same formula or what, but I picked that up as well. So I'm going to throw that into the review and I'll make sure to denote which one it is, just so you guys are aware. I'll also have the website linked down below in case you guys are interested in picking any of these up. So this is Cleona Cosmetics' first foray into magnetics since they started making polish, which really I think was, it's only been like a year. So really they wasted no time in getting there. I think that's pretty impressive. As a brand, they really dove head first into, you know, interesting and fun finishes. And they're doing those interesting and fun finishes in interesting and fun ways, different colorways and things like that. So I really appreciate it. They don't have a ton of basics, which is fine with me because I was aware of Cleona Cosmetics when all they were really doing was eyeshadow. And even in that realm, you know, nothing was basic. They do have a set of creams, which I did do a review on, and I'll pop that up in the cards if you're interested. But uh, since then, everything has been really crazy, really interesting, really unique, and this is no exception. If you weren't aware, Cleona is Canadian based, and so the pricing for this stuff, as I am US based, kind of fluctuates for me depending on the current exchange rate between the US dollar and the Canadian dollar. I paid roughly $91 for the eight piece collection off their website. Plus I think it was like a $12 for the one off of Polish Pickup, but I can't remember. The Polish Pickup Cleonas are just like a little bit more expensive than buying them from their website. I think a lot of it has to do with shipping and import costs and things like that. Because when I do pay shipping to Cleona, it's like 10 or 12 bucks. So it all kind of balances out. But I didn't think that $91 for an eight piece magnetic collection, I didn't find that to be unfair or anything like that. It seems on par or even cheaper than a lot of big brands out there. Now you can also buy the eight piece collection individually. So if you only like one or two, you can certainly only buy one or two. And they do have a magnet for sale as well. This is an unusual magnet to me. I don't own any like this. This side is like the regular magnet. And then on this side, there's some S's on there. I don't know if you can see because it's like all solid black, but that one kind of makes like a, a cross on your nail uh, or like a big X. So it's just kind of different. And I didn't realize that because I don't apparently read. Um, one came with the full set that I bought and I didn't realize that. So I had thrown another one in my cart. So now I have two of these. The other thing it came with was a instruction sheet, which I think for magnetic polish specifically, it's kind of important to have something like this in with the product. And I'm glad that brands are doing this. I think that they've done this. The ones that I got from Starly did this and the Halo Taco ones did as well. I just think that with magnetics, it's not as intuitive as basic nail polish and not everyone's going to read the website either. Like there's plenty of times where I've seen the instructions on the website and people didn't even know they were there. So just sticking this all like kind of an extra little reminder into the box kind of tells people like, hey, hang on, stop. There is a bit of a learning curve with this. Now, not everybody's learning on that curve, but at least they've covered their bases. The instructions here are pretty basic, just like any other instructions. You know, they tell you to shake the bottle and they tell you to hold the magnet over uh, for what, like 45 seconds at a minimum. Or they do tell you that you can place your finger on the magnet, which not a lot of brands really talk about that. It also explains that the magnetic pigment will disperse out if you don't hold the magnet long enough. And it does kind of stress like one nail at a time and uh, things like that. And it, it also lets you know to magnetize after you've top coated, which not everybody talks about when you are dealing with magnetic polishes. And so while that's a pretty important step, I, I think that not everybody would realize like you should probably do this. So I do think that while 
they are very thorough. They are still kind of like to the point with that. So I appreciate that. But yeah, I think that's the main overview of the polishes. Let's do the swatches really quick and I'll show you how they look magnetized as well. And then we will get into all my thoughts and feelings at the end. Okay, so I'm just gonna read the descriptions off the website because they're kind of more nuanced than my brain is capable of. So this is Psilocybin, a salmon pink peach yellow lime shifting multi-chrome magnetic polish with green, blue, indigo shifting shimmer and subtle holographic sheen. And it features a slick, smooth finish. And as you can see, I'm going to show all of these kind of in two coats and you can see what they would look like unmagnetized, but then I'm gonna throw the magnet over them and you can see this one, I really like that tealish background. And here is the full hand swatch. I only magnetize the ring finger on all of these because it's just easier. Up next we have Hazard and I think this looks so cool magnetized in the bottle like that. This is a warm gold chartreuse lime with hints of silvery aqua shifting magnetic multi-chrome polish with a red orange shifting shimmer and this features a slick smooth finish as well. There's the slick finishes and then there's like a psychedelic finish later on. We're doing the four slick ones first. And yeah, I really like this one on the nail, even though it's kind of reddish. I really, really like this. I thought it looked really cool. This is Toxic Sludge, and it is described as a mossy green lime aqua shifting magnetic multi-chrome polish with magenta red green shifting shimmer and subtle holographic sheen. This one also features the slick smooth finish and here it just kind of looks very jewel toned green but once you magnetize it it has that really cool purple contrast i'm a sucker for like a purple green combo it, it looks kind of goosebumpsy to me which is why i really like it next we have distortion and this one is described on the cleona website as an indigo pink red orange shifting magnetic multi-chrome polish with orange to lime to green shifting shimmer and subtle holographic sheen. And this is the fourth one that features the slick smooth finish. Now this is kind of similar to the previous one. It's the same kind of magnetization colorway. It's just that it is, I believe this one's darker than the previous one I just showed you, but it's still really cool. I still really love that purple and green combo. Now we have Warped, which is a teal blue purple magenta shifting magnetic multi-chrome polish with pink, red, orange, yellow chartreuse shimmer and fine scattered holographic glitter. And this features a psychedelic sparkly finish. So you can kind of see uh, it, it looks more smattered in colors than the first four did. It's kind of like a blend of different colors versus the first four, which I feel look a little bit more metallic. And I really like that that aqua blue pull in that. It looks really pretty with that purple in the back. Here we have Psychonaut, and this is a silvery green emerald turquoise violet shifting magnetic multi-chrome polish with indigo red orange shifting shimmer and fine scattered holographic sparkle. This one also features the psychedelic sparkly finish. And these are just, they're a mouthful to describe. They have so many different colors flipping through them. It's like every time I take a picture, they look a little bit different. I really like that deep purple in the background on this one. I think it's really pretty. And again, another green purple combo for me. This one is Synesthesia, and this is a pink peach gold chartreuse shifting magnetic multi-chrome polish with gold lime emerald shifting shimmer and fine holographic sparkle. And this is another one of the psychedelic sparkly finishes. I think I really like the psychedelic finishes a little bit more than the slick finishes because I just like that extra oomph of glitter in them. And this is another green and purple one. This is Acid Rain, and it's the final one from the main line on the Cleona website. This is a cobalt violet pink orange shifting magnetic multi-chrome polish with red orange lime shifting shimmer and fine scattered holographic sparkle. And again, it features a psychedelic sparkly finish. I really like this one, how it looks unmagnetized. I had struggled with the pictures, which I'll talk about later in the video, because you can see here, it clearly magnetizes really well, but I could not for the life of me capture it on camera. You can kind of see it in the angled shot, but not very well. 
And then finally, we have the December 2022 Polish Pickup Exclusive. This one is called Vaporwave. It is a, another one of the psychedelic formulas, and this one is described as a magenta, orange, gold, lime shifting magnetic multichrome polish with green, violet, and red shifting shimmer and a fine scattered holographic glitter. Now this one, it's not available anymore because it was Polish Pickup exclusive, but it is still part of this formula, this, this line. So I did want to show you guys anyways, just so you could see in addition to what they're already putting out on their website. So what did you guys think of this collection? From like the absolute moment I saw these on Instagram, when I saw them sneak peeked or whatever, I was hooked. I knew I was getting them all. I knew I had to have them. I don't have like a ton of magnets. I mean, I, I probably have more than your average person, but I do feel like I have a good handful at this point. But when I saw these swatch photos, I felt like they were so unique compared to what I own. And I'm just really on the Cleona train right now. Anyways, I was like, I gotta have those. These launched when I'm pretty sure my boyfriend's parents were over and we were like making dumplings. And I was like, um, I'll be right back. And I like went to the bathroom and ordered them on my phone because I did not want them to know that I had to drop everything I was doing in order to order a collection of nail polishes. So I was worried they were gonna sell out because they just, they seemed so cool. And I saw a lot of hype around them, at least in like my Instagram circles. So, but I did manage to get them and uh, get them in my hands. I don't have like a huge list of pros and cons like I usually do with reviews. I didn't really see anything that swung explicitly either way, like firmly like this is bad or firmly like this is perfect about this. I just have some notes that I wanted to share with you guys so that you are aware because for some people they might be pros, for some people they might be cons, for some people they might not matter at all. So let's just talk about the experience of this collection. So first of all, you may have noticed uh, if you don't like the color purple or even the color green to a lesser extent, this collection, or at least like 50% of this collection, might not be for you. This is a very heavy purple and green type of collection. They're all different purples and greens, but there's still a lot of them in this. Like, I, I think four of them at least are both purple and green. So if you don't like that, you may not like those but there are other options as well. It's just something that when I started swatching them out, I was like, wait a minute, there's a lot of green here. I don't have a problem with it. Purple and green are two of my favorite colors right now. So for me, right up my alley, but for some of my friends who are purple haters, uh, you might not like these as much. The second thing I wanted to talk about was specifically this polish Acid Rain. So this one, it magnetizes just fine but you would not be able to tell that from my swatch photo. Now, I think something that uh, at least I learned from the Holo Taco Magnetics launch is that purples just don't magnetize as easily as others, or at least that's what I saw a lot of people saying when it came time to magnetize the purple Holo Taco and a lot of people were having trouble with it, myself included. But a lot of people were saying, you know, purples don't hold magnetic pigment well. I don't know how valid that is. I don't have like other purple magnetics to really compare it to, uh, except for now this one, Acid Rain, which is purple and red or like purple and magenta. And in real life, I'm looking at this and it's a very stark line. It's very clear to me. The reason why it doesn't look super magnetized is because I feel like it's hard for me to discern the purple from that more magenta red color that is at play here. So like the purple is the magnetic line and then the magenta red is like the outside. And here on camera, while wow, that's looking really good, you can see it. For some reason, when I took the pictures, I felt like it was reading really well on my camera. But then when I uploaded them onto my computer, I was like, where's the, where did the magnet go? Where'd that go? Um, I promise you. It definitely does magnetize. It's just my pictures were bad. That's that's fully on me. It's one I'll probably have to go back and re-photograph when I have some more time because I don't know if it was just my lighting or what. Everything else I was able to pick up on camera, but this one, Acid Rain specifically, I could not, but I assure you, it's fine. My next note kind of plays into what I was talking about earlier with a lot of like the greens and the purples, and that is that 
Toxic Sludge and Psychonaut, so Toxic Sludge and Psychonaut, are somewhat similar to each other. It's just that one is darker than the other. They are both purpley bases with a green magnetic pull. So I would say that you might not need both. I think they're distinct enough that if you're a big collector and you really like these tones, I mean, you can definitely see a difference, but just in general, if you're like, I only want one purple backgrounded magnetic with a green magnet pull, like I guess you'd have to choose between the two of these. Um, but I do think they're different enough. It's just that they're the same colorway. It's just different tones. And then just a little bit further with that distortion here at the bottom, it's like the same, but flipped. So it's like green on the like base and then purple in the magnetic line here. Whereas these are the opposite, but all three are significantly different enough. I just wanted to highlight, like these are all like the purple and green kind of combos here. Then I guess the last major note that I had was that Vaporwave, which was in the December 2022 polish pickup, is also magnetic. It's also in the same formula as these. And I think that it was supposed to be like a complementary shade to this collection or like, I don't know if they wanted to call, I can't remember if they call it like a complementary shade, a sister shade, or if it was truly just an extended piece of this collection. And I'm pretty sure it was the last thing. Like I'm pretty sure this was part of the collection, but polish pickup exclusive. And I have very mixed feelings about that in that I both love it and hate it. And this is not like exclusive to Cleona. A lot of brands did this during the December polish pickup where they released kind of polish pickup exclusive shades that went with collections that they were releasing around that time in like end of November, early December. And ultimately at the end of the day, it is not a big deal. They can do whatever they want. It's fine and I don't have to buy them if I cannot or do not want to. But at the same time, the completionist in me was like, Hillary, you really, really need that Vaporwave shade. And you know what's funny? You know, I did feel like I needed it. I felt like I needed the whole nine piece set and I couldn't, I couldn't resist it. And so I picked this up and out of all nine of the shades, this one was the least interesting to me. I feel like I already have one kind of similar to this in my own collection already. Whereas everything else, I was like, I know I don't have anything like that, but I, I let myself get sucked into the hype and the completionist feelings of it. And that's my fault. That's on me. You know, I'm the only one responsible for Hillary's actions is of course, Hillary. Uh, but now I know for next time, like take a step back, take a deep breath, think about it. But I also think about like for people who are big completionists, you know, what if you weren't aware of polish pickup or what if you found out about the collection outside of the four day window of polish pickup and you really wanted that ninth polish and you just couldn't get it? It would be a bummer. It would be a little bit annoying, but at the same time, like that's life. You know, we, we miss out on things like things are exclusive. And so it's not really something to get too upset over. I keep magnetizing it, trying to make myself like it more <laughs> than I do. Um, but yeah, overall, like I think that looking at this from a normal headspace, like looking at this from a normal point of view, you don't need to complete every little collection. And so it is a fun little thing that they added a complimentary exclusive shade to polish pickup and that's fine. They're allowed to do that. And I bought it, so here we are. Also, not a note, just a question. Um, when you guys are sorting your polishes, because I sort mine by brand and then by color within that brand. So like Roy G. Biv by color like that. Is there any other way to sort polishes by color? That would be weird. What if you sorted your polishes by color, but alphabetically? That'd be strange, but whatever. Hillary, shut up. How do you guys categorize the color on something like this? Where like, you know, the Hollow Taco magnetics and the Starly magnetics, those were like monochromatic magnetics. So a red had a different kind of red color pull and a purple had a different kind of purple color pull. So like, those are obviously red and purple, but these are like one color base and then one color magnetized. So like, do you sort them by the base or the magnetization color? Like that's keeping me up at night right now. Okay, so as far as my favorites from the collection go, 
I have two. The first one is my favorite that looks cool both magnetized and unmagnetized. This one is called Warped. And unmagnetized, it's kind of like this bluey, purpley, teal duochrome or multi-chrome, I guess, because that's more than two. And then when you magnetize it, you've got just this really vibrant, like teal stripe ripping through that purple background. And I just love it. I used to be a teal freak and then I stopped wearing them so much. And then I was like, oh no, they stain my nails. Not that I care, but for some reason I would stop wearing them. But I feel... I feel like this is gonna be a teal year for me. I don't know, I'm really feeling it. And so I really like this one both ways. And then my favorite, like overall just magnetized is psilocybin, which look at that. Oh my God, look at that. Um, Like unmagnetized, I feel like it looks really dull, really plain, kind of a grayish, browny, just, it's not that exciting. Just like a little bit of a metallic-y, taupey color. And then you magnetize it and it's just like this perfect, beautiful teal with that taupey kind of yellowy color running through the middle. And it's just so interesting, so unique. I don't have anything like this. And I want to try to break out my weird like lightning bolt magnet and see if I can't get some cool effects with that because I just, it's so pretty. Now, the last thing I want to kind of highlight before I go and I think I've highlighted this in every Cleona video I've done so far. But something to keep in mind when you're ordering from this brand is processing time. It can vary greatly depending on when you order, but they are incredibly upfront about it. So, you know, if you just go to the website, they usually tell you what type of processing window they are in. Per their website, their standard processing time is one to five business days and their high volume processing time is one to 20 business days. I ordered these during the high volume processing time and I got them in under 20 days. And that's including, you know, I'm located in the US, so this stuff does have to clear customs when it's coming through. And mine went on a weird adventure where it landed in Detroit and I was like, oh cool, I'm gonna get it tomorrow. And then it like went to Chicago and then it went even further and I was like, hey, you missed me, come back. And then it came back to Detroit, so I was fine. But it just, sometimes with customs, things can get a little bit wonky, but it's never taken me longer than their stated processing time to get my goods. So I just think it's important to highlight because in like the current era of, like sometimes I order from Amazon and get stuff the exact same day I ordered it. You know, sometimes we can get a little bit impatient when orders take a long time. And, you know, me being in a completely different country can also impact this. So I just wanted to make sure that for all my U.S. friends out there who might be ordering from Cleona, expect a slightly longer wait time. But really, it's it's always been a reasonable time for me. And they have always stated up front on the website how long it may take. So just something to keep in mind. But yeah, that is all I have to say about these. I really enjoyed them. I'm finding them a lot of fun to toy around with. I've been really enjoying what Cleona has been coming out with and I'm really always looking forward to any new launches they put out. They did release like four polishes that were previously, I think exclusively mystery shades that you could get, but uh, I haven't picked those up yet. I already own one of them and I'm still trying to decide on the other three, like if I really want them because this year I'm being a little bit more deliberate with my spending on nail polish and not just buying everything because, ooh, that looks prettier, ooh, I like that. So I'm kind of letting it ruminate a little bit more before I pick those up. But I do well and truly love this brand, even though I've only been purchasing from them for a short time. And you have to know, you absolutely have to know that it's true that I love that brand because usually would not be caught dead paying for shipping. Like if a brand in the US doesn't have like a free shipping threshold, usually I'm just like, never mind. I don't I don't pay for shipping. I'm not doing that. Even though obviously it's factored into the cost of the polish. I know that, but I just don't like to see it on the receipt. So just trick me psychologically and loop it into your nail polish costs and I will buy them. But in this case, I'm literally throwing down like 10, 12 or $13 for shipping. I can't even remember how much it costs but I think it's like around 12 or 13 every time I order from them. And I don't even think twice about it because that's how much I love these polishes. So, you know, if Hillary's paying $13 for shipping, this is a ringing true endorsement, okay? 
I'm willing to pay for international shipping so the love is real. To all the Canadians who watch my channel, um, do you have any US brands like that where you're just like, I will pay shipping on this even though it's annoying and I have to do it? Like, do you, do you feel as strongly about any US brands as I do about Cleona Cosmetics? Let me know. And let me know if you did pick this collection up or if you plan to pick up any of them after watching my video. I love talking to you guys and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.